Welcome to Vidicin Medicine. This session is about internal medicine and the topic for today is Lambert-Eaton syndrome. The condition is named after two American neurologists, Edward Lambert and Lee Eaton, who first described clinical and etiopathological findings of this disease. Lambert-Eaton syndrome, also known as Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, is a neuromuscular disorder characterized by defective neurotransmitter release at presynaptic terminals of the neuromuscular junction. Let's revise. Here you can see presynaptic membrane with voltage-gated calcium channel. The calcium is responsible for mediating exocytosis of acetylcholine pack by fusing the membrane of acetylcholine pack with presynaptic membrane, thereby releasing acetylcholine into neuromuscular junction. So, what exactly happens in this syndrome causing defective neuromuscular transmission? In this syndrome, antibodies are released against presynaptic voltage-gated calcium channel. These antibodies are autoantibodies attacking voltage-gated calcium channel, inhibiting calcium influx into presynaptic neuron, preventing acetylcholine release, as a result of which no signal is passed to neuromuscular junction. Lambert-Eaton syndrome occurs as an inflammatory or paraneoplastic syndrome. Immunoglobulin G autoantibodies are formed against voltage-gated calcium channel. Also, the syndrome is associated with small cell lung cancer because of which it is often recognized as a paraneoplastic syndrome. Talking about clinical features, it is to be noted that Lambert-Eaton syndrome is a disorder of autonomic as well as peripheral nerves. Patients may have autonomic dysfunction in addition to muscle weakness, but the cardinal sign is absence of tendon reflexes which return after sustained contraction of relevant muscle. The condition is characterized by weakness of muscles which progresses caudally to cranially. There is trouble in walking, tingling sensation in hands or feet, eyelid drooping, fatigue, dry mouth, trouble speaking, swallowing, breathing and bladder and bowel changes and sometimes erectile dysfunction. You can take a moment to note out all the points from here. One question that needs to be answered is why is autonomic dysfunction present in this syndrome? It is because such voltage-gated calcium channels are also present in autonomic nerve endings which could be attacked by autoantibodies produced. One thing particular about this syndrome is that muscle weakness is relieved after exertion or exercise. Why is it so? Exercise or exertion causes action potential to generate calcium influx into presynaptic membrane which eases acetylcholine release and thereby relieves the symptoms of weakness. Diagnosis which is made electrophysiologically by stimulating motor nerve and seeing muscles response with respect to stimulus. The muscle response is increased which is referred to as post-titanic potentiation of motor response to nerve stimulation. As Lambert-Eaton syndrome often comes as a paraneoplastic syndrome, CT scan or PET scan should be done to diagnose presence of lung cancer. Similarly, blood tests can be done to detect antibodies. There is no cure for Lambert-Eaton syndrome. The treatment is directed towards relieving symptoms. Medicines such as 3,4-diaminopyridine can be given Similarly, in case of presence of lung cancer, treatment should be directed towards lung cancer. Immunosuppressants such as prednisolone, azathioprine or methotrexate can be given and plasmapheresis can be done to filter out autoantibodies. The mainstay of treatment for Lambert-Eaton syndrome is medication with 3,4-diaminopyridine. Let's revise. Here you can see three different ion channels for sodium, calcium and potassium. Sodium influx causes depolarization, whereas potassium efflux causes repolarization. Calcium ion enters in transient time between depolarization and repolarization. This was revised for understanding the mechanism of action of 3,4-diaminopyridine, which is a potassium channel blocker. It blocks potassium channel, thereby prolonging repolarization, which allows more time for voltage-gated calcium channel to operate. This causes more calcium influx which eases acetylcholine release and improves symptom. Now we can understand why this is the mainstay of treatment for Lambert-Eaton syndrome. There is another similar neuromuscular disorder 
called myasthenia gravis. We will be discussing it very soon. Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to Vedism Medicine.